Straight up. I'm a honey bear, bruh. <laughs> I'm back and today we're gonna be checking out something awesome. Today we are going to be checking out Moosh Moosh. These are technically pillows, but they are obviously plushies too. I shared these with you guys in a YouTube story and a lot of you were really excited about them and wanted to know what they are. I didn't know that I couldn't respond in a comment form. Now you get a full on review. These are Moosh Moosh pillows. There's two O's, so I really like to emphasize the oosh. These are the softest, squishiest, fluffiest, stretchiest, smooshiest, smoosh moosh. All the words I just described. They feel like velvet on top. I don't even know if it's just cotton on the inside or what but they are literally the softest smushiest things I've ever felt in my life like if this was a pillow like a straight-up pillow it'd be like sleeping on a cloud so I asked my kids to pick out a few so that I can show you guys don't they look like Tsum Tsums over there just not obviously themed after Disney but anyways so I asked the kids to pick a few that you guys might like to see and they did so let's check them out these are not that expensive without any sales these cost $16 Canadian and I found them at Michaels they are available at Michaels in the States and they are listed online only right now for $10 and that they will ship before Christmas so if that's something that interests you get on that but anyways these are $16 Canadian but we have a BOGO right now so if you buy one you get one half price hence the lot so yay saving money we're gonna check out this one first just because it's in my hand and it's adorable this is basically a unikitty it is super white no tail it's got light pink two stripes right on top got two little ears with pink centers and a pink blue and purple horn the stitching is really Really, really good on the eyes nose and little mouth and it's pretty simple that's basically it there's two little front paws but no back paws and there's no added sounds nothing inside that crinkles it is straight up soft squishy plush like if I push down on this it goes super flat so Izzy has claimed this one and for those of you who do not know Izzy is my daughter and this one's name is Daisy so they all do have names and that's that let's go to our tower of uh, others this one here is Gabe's favorite this is Ash this is a red dragon it is super super stretchy and fluffy and soft just like the others I'm gonna say that a lot and there are actually two dragons that you can get one is green which is back there and one is obviously red it's got two little arms down here no tail no back legs super round body it's got two golden wings and the majority of the attachments that come on these are fabric. They should all be pretty comfortable to lie on with the exception of these two. I mean, they're soft still, but I could see that annoying your face. So maybe just sleep on the other side. It's got really great stitching. Nothing comes off. There's no safety eyes or anything. Little star reflections in the eyes and look at that little tooth. He looks like he's trying to be tough. <laughs> And that was Ash. Next up, we have a blue unicorn. The internet is going crazy right now. How cute is this? So once again, it's only got two little arms. This one is all blue. It's got pink hair going down its back, a pink, yellow, and purple horn. So it's very pastel. It's got a rainbow a felted piece of hair in the front here. I feel like that should have probably matched the hair in the back though. It's got blue ears with white insides. And the face on this one is actually different. So it's just got a round eye with a starlight reflection and blushed cheeks. It's really cute. And it's got like a little trapezoid for its muzzle. Look at that geometry. Is that geometry? Shapes. Once again, super stretchy, soft, and huggable. Next up, this one is my favorite. It is so cute though. <laughs> that was so lame. <laughs> its name is Doe, okay? Like Doe, a deer, a female deer. It's like a drop of golden sun. I skipped Ray because it didn't work. This one is straight up my favorite because there was no chipmunk. This is a light pink. It's got four pink hearts on top and the hearts aren't airbrushed. They actually feel kind of like they're painted on. The more I mess with it, they do fluff up a bit. This one is, it feels a little plushier than those, but to be fair, I haven't squished it as much, but it still stretches amazing. It's got two little white antlers and little pink ears with white on the inside. It's got little gray legs in the front, and this one has a different face too. It's pink, a creamy color down here, and it's got little heart freckles. It just it just matches my soul. So cute. And then the little mouth is like super tiny. It's ready to just be quiet and calm and cuddle me. I love it. And now we're gonna check out the second dragon. This one's name is Drac. And personally, I prefer this one. It's basically the exact same. The only difference is that this one is green with purple wings. And the wings always kind of just flop, which bothers me. But it's actually super cute. This is the first one I saw and I was in love. So once again, <laughs> super duper stretchy like look at that this is the shape here okay think about the size of my head but watch <laughs> it almost goes flat like it's the softest thing it's identical just different colors purple and the green ow i don't think i can ever film a video without hitting my elbow 
two left. I'm gonna move this one forward and put these in the back because I'm running out of room up here. I'm doing a really good job because you can't tell how piled up it is, but hold on. You'll see. You'll all see. There, those are the ones we've done so far. So I have two left to show you. I'm thinking this one is a shark. It looks really happy, so I couldn't tell if it was a whale or a shark. Is this a dorsal fin? Is my free willy serving me correctly right now? I don't know. Whatever this is, not that having it tipped this way automatically makes it a shark, but I feel like it's supposed to. The face says whale. The thing here reminds me of shark. I'm gonna go with sea creature. Yes. <laughs> this one here is our blue sea creature. The bottom, back, fins, and whatever these are, flippers and face, are a different color blue than the top blue with speckles. The face is actually separated by stitching for a very, very pale blue at the bottom here, just to kind of add dimension to the face. It's got a super red mouse. I think it's the only one with a full-on smile. And then it's got great stitching in the eyes again. And this one's harder to see, but there is a very small blush spot right here and here. It's very, very faint. Though. Just like the others, super squishy, soft, and stretchy. And this one's name is Bella. So, Bella the shark or Bella the whale? You be the judge. And lastly, we have this adorable bear. Oh my gosh. Its name is Honey. Can you tell why? It's got a nice soft brown body with little brown arms in the front there. It's a very pale brown, but it's got this golden yellow honey poured on top like it got into, you know, honey, because that makes sense. No tail, super soft, nothing overly exciting about it. This one doesn't have any blush, but it does have a cute round muzzle and the little stitched up mouth there. It's supremely adorable. This one's my second favorite out of all of them. I feel like these would make amazing hats. <laughs> Straight up. I'm a honey bear, bruh. These are actually so soft that they're flattening out under the weight of each other. That's crazy. There you go, guys. That was a quick look at Moosh Moosh, the plush pillow. Look at this. My hand is very small, okay? I can't even fit my hand around a, a Starbucks cup, but watch this. And if I squeeze it, I can get smaller. It's crazy. I definitely recommend this. I mean, I seem like the person who would just buy a bunch of random cute pillows for no reason, but I assure you, that's not me. However, here we are, because they're actually that amazing. So if you have a strong desire to hug and cuddle or know somebody who might, check into these, for real. If you know somebody who absolutely loves a good plush and you think that they would be interested to find out more about these moosh moosh pillow pal plush things, then share this video with them. And if you enjoyed this video yourself, please make sure you remember to comment, like, and subscribe. You can let me know down below which one is your favorite that I checked out today, and if you'd like me to get any other animals for you to see. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye!